A very good morning to all my dear students. Myself, Ruby teacher, Yogesh sir, and Shubhashree ma'am. We three of us will be checking your science for this academic year for class seventh. I hope you all are doing fine as well. So, as we are beginning with the new method of teaching, that is online teaching, we are going to start with a new chapter through this video. Okay. So, what is the new chapter? Before going to the topic. I will recall some of the concepts related to this chapter. Now, how many of them are aware, or how many of them still remember? Last year we have studied many things about the plant, right? We have studied the plant structure of the plant and different parts of the plants with their functions. Okay, utilizing the same knowledge, same information, we are going to learn in this new chapter related to the plants again. Okay. Now, in this chapter, what we will learn? Okay. In this chapter, we are going to learn about nutrition in plants. To learn nutrition in plants, first of all, we need to be clear with the process or the name that is nutrition. What is nutrition? So, in last year, if some of the some of you remember, last year we have studied what are nutrients, what is nutrition, and what are the modes of nutrition. These three concepts we have studied last year. Just a revision or the brushing of knowledge of these concepts. What is what are nutrients? Okay, for gaining energy, as we humans require many different components, and those components are considered as the building blocks of the particular body. Right. Same way, even in case of plants, plants also require different components as a part of their body to build up the energy to gain. Or to prepare or to produce their food, right? And those components, the major as well as the minor components present in the nature, are known as the nutrients. Is it clear? The minor or the major components present in the atmosphere in the nature, which is used to prepare the food, is known as or are known as nutrients. Okay. Now nutrients is clear. as a part of revision from the next class also and as a part of a new chapter also okay second topic that is what is nutrition now you may be considering like you know you may be thinking there is similarity between nutrients and nutrition there is a similarity rather other than saying similarity i would say there is a relation or interrelation between the words nutrients and nutrition okay nutrients means these are the components which are present in the food is it clear these are the components which are present in the food whereas nutrition is a process to utilize this nutrients to build up the energy in the body be it a plant or any animal or human is it clear what is new what are nutrients nutrients are the components so if i write nutrients are nothing but the components present in the food okay or in the nature right and nutrition what is nutrition nutrition is a it is a process nutrition is a process of utilizing these nutrients or the components present in the food to build up the energy in an individual or in an plant is it clear now after nutrients and nutrition now as i said nutrition is a process to utilize the nutrients or to convert the nutrients from its complex form to its simpler form okay now there are different ways for the process to take place that is nutrition okay there are different ways in which the nutrition process takes place now you might have uh, uh, learned about in the very previous classes right in your 6th standard as well as in your 5th standard also how do plants get their food like you know have you ever seen any plant being dependent on any other organism have you seen any small sapling any small plant depending on other organism any other animal insect birds anyone for their food is it have you ever seen right no this is not possible because why the plant has the very unique character that it can prepare its own food i hope it is very clear plants have the very pure ability to prepare their own food is it clear then we humans or animals can we prepare our own food 
right? If I yes, now you may be thinking, yes, yeah, humans can prepare their own food, but dear students, humans can prepare the food utilizing the raw materials. That means we are dependent on the raw materials. So where from where do we get these raw materials? And these raw materials ultimately come from the plants. Is it clear? So we are not independent. Rather, we are dependent on plants. We are dependent on animals. Vegetarians on plants and non-vegetarians on animals. Okay. So overall, only plants are the organisms, or plants are the components which are completely independent of other surrounding organisms for their food. That is, plants have the only ability to prepare their own food through a very specific process, and for that process, we shall go with the uh, next thing okay so now the method to prepare the food and now I said like plants are self dependent they can prepare their own food so coming to the topic that is different modes of nutrition majorly there are only two modes of nutrition one is autotrophic mode of nutrition as it's shown here and another one is the heterotrophic mode of nutrition okay autotrophic mode of nutrition means auto okay uh, when you see many a times the motors in the vehicles or any machines we say they are uh, automobiles why do we say automobiles auto means they are self working right same thing here autotrophic trophic means trophic means the nutrition process the nutrition process okay so the mode of nutrition in which the animals or the organism the mode of nutrition in which the organism can prepare its own food is known as autotrophic mode of nutrition. Auto means, auto means self, auto means self, self dependent, okay. The plants, as we are learning about plants, the plants which can prepare their own food are undergoing the nutrition process known as the nutrition mode rather known as autotrophic mode of nutrition right whereas the second mode of nutrition exactly opposite of that you might have seen B right as I said before we are dependent on something else right some animals are depending something on something else so that is the mode of nutrition in which an organism is dependent on another organism to gain the energy or the food and that method hetero means dependent dependent okay hetero means dependent the organisms which are dependent on another organisms to gain their food or energy is known as heterotrophic mode of nutrition the mode of nutrition in which the organisms can prepare their own food they don't have to depend on anyone else is known as the autotrophic mode of nutrition and the mode of nutrition in which organisms have to depend on another organism or plants to gain their food and energy is known as heterotrophic mode of nutrition. I hope till here many things are clear with you. This was just an introductory part rather this was just an introductory lesson of the new chapter that is nutrition in plants. To the actual process we shall go with the next video in the next period. So coming back to the recalling knowledge again of this all things what are nutrients nutrients are those components present in the food which help to build the energy or to produce the energy right now how do energy is produced from these nutrients that is through the process known as nutrition then what is nutrition nutrition is a process in which the organism can prepare their own food using the nutrients or making the use of nutrients next which modes are there mainly there are two modes of nutrition autotrophic mode of nutrition and heterotrophic mode of nutrition autotrophic mode of nutrition means the mode of nutrition through which the organisms are not dependent on any other organism for their food is known as autotrophic mode of nutrition Whereas heterotrophic means the organisms or the mode of nutrition in which the organism is dependent on other organisms for gaining the food or energy is known as heterotrophic mode of nutrition. I hope for now you people have understood this much. I request you 
to go through the video thoroughly and after this video i will be sending you some notes as well as some basic homework questions related to this and your previous class topic okay and i request you all the students to please go through those questions also and write down it in your notebook solve them in your notebook notes and those questions solve them in your notebook and send it on my personal number from this if any student have not understood anything you are free to ask me from 5 to 7 in the evening on my personal number thank you